so I'm always looking around and not looking at you guys. Sorry. Um, cause I'm typically sitting in a parking lot and I kind of need to see, you know, what's going on around me. Um, here goes that yard. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And thank you for joining me legally TT again, um, on my journey. So today is the day of our procedure. My husband is, uh, doing his collection. Um, I'm sure he didn't want to be on camera this morning. Uh, if you do want to see my husband, go ahead and jump on over to German Muscle Auto uh, YouTube page. That is his page. And so my hubby is on there. Um, I'm actually on there too. I actually, I think I'm in two videos. I think I'm in two videos. Oh, um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um... So today we have our first IUI. Um, I did not have to take the trigger shot. Um, I realized I didn't come back yesterday like I was supposed to. So we'll go over what happened yesterday. Um, so I was waiting on my blood work um, to see if my LH was surging. Uh, pretty much to see if I was ovulating on my own. And I was. Um, so the letrozole alone made me ovulate. <clears throat> um, we did have a pretty mature follicle yesterday as well. Um, so they said we get to do IUI today. I have chapstick. Let me find it. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. So, um, turn the heat off, I'm hot, the seat's on, I'm just hot. So, <coughs> they did say um, we could have IUI today. So, they said he does his collection, and then two hours later, um, I have my procedure. Um, so unfortunately that does mean running back and forth today. Um, because of COVID only one person of course can be in the office. Um, so there really is no point in him, you know, kind of sitting around for two hours, um, just to have to sit in the car after that. So we are just here i'm chilling in the car oh and we shall you know see how things go yes i'm tired i'm always tired because i have to get up at the crack of dawn for these appointments and my sleep pattern really is we go to sleep you know dang near at the crack of dawn and then you know i'm up by midday um, because I don't work until later on in the afternoon and neither does my husband. So that's why I'm always tired. Um, but it's not really much else to say yet today. Uh, I guess, I guess I will come back to you guys right before the procedure and probably maybe right after. I'm not sure. We'll see. Hey, 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 so let's talk about IUI number one. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was uh, interesting. So what happened during IUI number one? My husband gave his sample a um, little less than actually two hours. They let me know it was ready for me to take over to my doctor and have the procedure done. Um... When I got to my doctor, they stated that the count was too low. My husband has had his count and everything checked before, and we've had no issues. We think the issue was this time was they told us to baby dance, is what we call it in the fertility world, or BD, uh, the day before the procedure. 
Um, normally, anytime he has to give a sample, they tell you to abstain um, from baby dancing, I believe 24 to 48 hours before you have to give the sample. I can't remember. It's been a minute since he's had to do that. Um, and so this time it was different. So unfortunately, they said his count was very low. They did give me the option to go ahead or to cancel this IUI. I chose to go ahead with IUI because it only takes one. Um, and I am not in control of this. The doctors can say whatever they want. Um, however, I give it to God and I keep it moving. Um, so I chose to go ahead with the IUI because I said if God has for this session to be successful then it will be successful um so we have gone ahead with IUI and now it's a two-week wait boy oh boy wait two weeks to pee on a stick that's what you gotta do um so we just sit and wait for two weeks to see if it is positive if it is not positive you know, then we move on to the next IUI. Um, we wait for our, our cycle to start again. And then we would start IUI number two, cycle number two. Um, so I will say it was very emotional hearing the information because you don't want to hear that you have less of a chance to for this IUI to be successful. So Regardless, it's tough. It is a very emotional um, process to go through. Uh, not to mention the medicines have you just all over the place emotionally. I think na naturally I am a person that emotions kind of fluctuate on a regular basis. Um, and so adding the hormones to that, boy, oh boy. I went off about a sandwich. A sandwich, guys. My sandwich was made crazy, and I just went off about this sandwich. So, yeah, beware. Um, and don't pay attention to my nails. I got to do them. Don't judge me. Um, so, uh-oh. Hold on. Hey, babe, I'm filming. Let me get you back. Oh, sorry. So, uh, yeah, I put my phone on Do Not Disturb, and that's probably why he hit me on uh, the walkie-talkie because he couldn't get through the call. But, um, yeah, it's, it, it's a lot. It is definitely a lot. It's definitely an emotional roller coaster. So definitely be prepared for that and have a support system and support people to support you around you during this time because it is not easy. I'm not going to tell anyone that this is an easy process. I drive 30 miles away from my house um, to go to my appointments, which are normally at seven o'clock in the morning when I actually don't start work until 2 p.m. Um, so I'm used to being asleep at that time. Um, you have to wait for your blood work to come back and it usually doesn't come back until midday. And so you're, you know, just on edge wondering what's going on with that. Don't pay attention to that, y'all. It ain't tied down. It's just put on so I don't look like who shot Bob. <laughs> um, but make sure you have your support system. Make sure you are standing in your faith, if nothing else. Um, because you will need every bit of that mustard seed, every bit of it, and then some. Um, so I will be back after the two week wait to let you guys know how things went. Um, and I will see you in my next one.